Man, is it early. It's 517. Fishing today with my neighbor, Wyatt Juno. Not only is it 517, but we are right now at the lower end of Plaquemines Parish. It's about a two and a half hour drive from my house. So that tells you how long I've been up. We're actually heading to fish Vegas today. Technically not, but it feels like we are because we're gambling. We are rolling the dice. We're going down to fish Venice without any reports. We haven't heard anything about bass action down here at the mouth of the Mississippi River, but we just kind of feel like it, it should be right. The Mississippi River's down around eight feet and it's fallen, been falling for several weeks. So that should hopefully have pulled some of those bass out of the backwater canes and we're hoping we can really crush them. Now we got a rising tide first thing in the morning today and Venice is not the best on the rising tide. But as soon as that tide turns around and starts falling, we really, really like our chances. Who knows, we may skunk today. It's kind of a high risk, high reward deal, but we're definitely optimistic. We'll see what happens. It's just now starting to break day, just kind of barely. 518 now. This is gonna be a fun day. All right, it's 5.56, almost 6 a.m. We got a nice overcast. Hopefully that'll stick around all day so it's not scorching hot, but you know that's not gonna happen. Now we got a bit of a run to get down river. We're gonna fish down river today. We're gonna be beating the canes, flipping and pitching, hopefully pulling some big bass out of those canes. Wyatt's a, a bass fisherman, he fishes this area a whole bunch. We're gonna kinda see what our heaviest five fish are today as if we were fishing a team tournament. Hopefully we catch five fish, who knows, we may not. We really don't know what to expect. That's what makes it fun. All right, so Wyatt and I are starting the morning flipping and pitching the canes. That's kind of Venice Fishing 101. It's probably what we're gonna be doing most of the day. It's what we both enjoy doing. Basically, all you do, you're fishing a heavy bullet weight, throwing it up into those canes, see if you get a bite on that initial fall. If not, you're pulling it out, because, man, we are racing down these canes. Tide peaks, high tide is about 8 o'clock this morning. And we're here, it's maybe 6.30 or so. So we got a little while. We're gonna try and catch some fish before that change. Wish us luck. Yeah, water's pretty ugly. <laughs> Had to drop it on his head. Oh, you Definitely had something. No question. I don't know what that was. It may have been a brim or something, but freaking smoked it. Smoked it. Damn, dude. <laughs> You got something there. <laughs> Did you ever catch a red fish flipping canes like this? Plenty times, yeah. That's the best feeling ever. Yeah. Unless you're in a tournament, it's the worst feeling ever. For a split second, you think you got like an eight pounder. You know where those fish are right now. <laughs> They're all right back in there. Ah. Definite bite. There he is. There he is. Good fish. Oh, yeah. All right. That's a good bass. That's why you make the long run to Venice. Wyatt and I fished the Jafuncta River near our house. And a fish like this would uh, be a big head start in our club tournament. <laughs> I'm guessing he's about two, huh? Yeah, we can put him on the scale. Let's put him on the scale. Two point two four, so two and a quarter. There he is. All right. 
Right out the same mold as the last one. Pretty fish. It's hard to throw a frog when they're gonna hit flipping. As much as I like topwater baits, I like flipping and pitching more. He's got a hump, hump head, huh? He's kind of funny shaped, see that? It's like a brim head. Well, you can guess, what do you think he is? A pound and a half? All right, we'll call him a pound and a half. So now we're up to three and three quarters. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice, good fish. Did he thump it or was he just there? Thumped it. Let's get that scale. I'm guessing, uh, I'm guessing two, huh? What do you think? Well, you were off by two one hundredths. <laughs> 1.78. All right, so we're calling that one and three quarters. So that's four and a half, five and a half, right? Yeah. So Wyatt and I are not setting the world on fire, but to be honest, we really didn't expect to early. It's about 8.30 now, and that high tide was supposed to be just a bit after 8 o'clock. So we think we're probably right at the, the peak of high tide now, and that water's going to begin to start falling. Once it does, boy, some magical things can happen down here in Venice. Falling tide with pretty water with bait in Venice is just the recipe for crazy, crazy, crazy bass action. Doesn't mean we're going to have that today. Certainly anything could happen, but we're still very much optimistic at this point. Oh, there he is. Is that a red? No, nice bass. Nice bass. All right. That's a good fish. Look how fat this fish is. Settle down, boy. Look at this. I mean, he's not long at all. It's a football. Look at his belly. My guess is going to be 2.1. What do you think? Somewhere in that ballpark. Oh, he just had a good meal. He's 2.49. So we're going to call him two and a half. And uh, so we were at five and a half. So that's uh, six, eight pounds. Was he way back in there? Or when? No, he was, was kind of out. Yeah. Well, it's our uh, lunker of the day so far. Overindulged last night. He was definitely full of something. Oh. oh, you saw him? <laughs> you mind going to get that? I saw him hit it and never felt him. Just set the hook. He wasn't big. Pretty good to have, though. Oh, there he is. All right. Maybe a one pounder, huh? We'll call him a one pounder. That puts us at nine. Now he looked to be a little bit out, was he? Okay, so he swam out with it. And current's rolling through here. Definitely river current. Finally got a hook in one. gonna shake come on dude I'm gonna let you go just settle down it's so funny how different Venice fish look compared to Chifuncta fish <laughs> they just look so different why take me through your, your whole rig I got a half ounce tungsten weight pegged I got this little bead from Fitzgerald makes them all it does is keep the bait Hanging straighter whenever you're flipping. I got a hack attack, four aught heavy flipping hook with a snell knot on it. Now, what do you like about the snell? I feel it gives you a better shot at sticking the fish in the harder part, right in the top of the head. Whenever it snells down, of course, that hook kicks up under the mouth. Perfect. All right, and uh, what, what bait are you using? Uh, right now, I just put on this Berkeley Havoc Pit Boss, Okeechobee color. Try something a little different. And what have you been fishing? Uh, missile bait D-bomb. What color was that? That was a California Love. I was alternating between that and black and blue. So basically you're just flipping when it's a clean bank, flipping and pitching, and then if you come across lilies then you start punching, right? I'll punch into the lilies, 
if I feel like they're going to be in there. Other than that, yeah, I'm just trying to get this bait as tight to the skeins as I can and hope one jumps on after. For some people, it's an obvious question, but you know, a lot of people watching from out of town or whatever. Why is a, a falling tide better in Venice than a rising tide? Uh, falling tide typically will bring all that clean water out of the ponds and it'll get all these water out these canes allow these fish to make their way into these canals right here by you it's a little easier to catch them right now they so far up in these canes we're thinking that you can't get to them now seasonally what, what's your favorite time to uh to fish down here in venice during the fall it's fun of course for numbers uh i do like the springtime out here because those fish like to stack up in the ponds and uh, of course they're bedding on these canes fatter fish a little tougher to catch but that's why everybody fishes right and and how much attention do you pay to mississippi river level a good bit uh i like it under 10 foot uh, i have caught it when the river was a little on the higher side but it's definitely a lot better when the river's lower and is that strictly because of the height or is it because of the clarity of the water or both uh, a little bit of both uh I guess down here you can always find clean water for the most part uh, so probably more or less for the water height get the water out of these canes consolidate these fish a little better all right and we were talking earlier off camera what, what's the um what's the biggest fish you've seen come out of here or what's what's the biggest stringer you've seen come out of here you personally on your boat or a boat you were fishing on on my boat I, a little better than 15 pounds uh, I've heard of 18 to 20 pound stringers coming out of here. Well, we got about what, nine today? <laughs> yeah. So we got our work cut out for yeah. it. All right, so we got a rain shower coming. It's got some definite heat in it. Hadn't lightened in a little while, but it was just a few minutes ago. And it's starting to rain now, so we're putting the suits on. All right, we made it back to the marina. There is lightning and thunder all around us. We made it in by the skin of our teeth, really. So I'd say it was a successful day. We did not whack the fish by any stretch. We probably jumped the gun a little bit, but I can tell you Venice is very, very close to being very, very good. There's actually some patches of green in the river. That means the river's getting nice and low. Another week or two, it's just gonna be fantastic down here. But you know, Wyatt and I both said, we'd rather kind of set the trend than be late to the party. And this place down here, it's remote, no doubt about it but it gets pounded. A lot of people come down here and bass fish simply because of the quality of the bass fishing. It's just top notch. The fish are footballs. They're just really, really fat, but really heavy. And just so much fun to catch. I love this place. If I live closer to Venice, I'd probably end up getting divorced because I would be here every day. Just can't get enough of it. Well, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Also be sure and subscribe to Marshman Mass on. Lots and lots of great videos still to come. You know that. And leave a comment in the comment section. How's your bass fishing been this year? You've been fishing marsh settings, lakes, rivers. What have you been fishing? And what have you been throwing? All right, until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we will see you right here on Marshman Masson. Fishing to the river, But we just kind of feel like it, it should be right. We are rolling the dice.